Making sure it looks like we're ready to roll. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. So I'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible for you. This is a speed run after all. So I'm going to go ahead and be running Kirby's Dream Land here today. It's a pretty simple game. Uh, basically you just hold right and try not to get hit by stuff. Made in 1992, it is the first entry into the uh, Kirby franchise. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start out in green greens. You're going to see a lot of inhaling and down cancelling. That's the fastest way to get through your em enemies. Uh, enemies. Look at me. I'm already getting sidetracked here. I'm just going to try to walk through this without getting hit by anything. I know, really difficult strats, right? Really difficult strats. Try Crow says, but, uh, but, Kirby. Uh, you may want to restart and give us a countdown in Discord so we can actually start our timer. Oh. Sorry, should have mentioned that. <laughs> no worries, no worries. We'll go ahead and get it restarted. We'll call that a warm-up, everybody. Hope everybody liked their first taste of Kirby. Here's your second dose. Alright, we're gonna get it started in three, two, one, go. Alright. So now, we're gonna walk to the right. You're gonna see a lot of down cancelling here. That's the fastest way to get through your enemies. See on take two, I didn't even stutter over my words there. Same thing, get through here as quickly as possible without touching. So now we're gonna hit our first part of RNG which is a big part of this run. So Poppy here can either throw two bombs or three bombs. In a normal speedrun setting, two bombs is an automatic reset, but the purpose of a marathon will keep it going. So this would normally be a reset here, but no big deal. We'll throw another bomb in a second, and we'll be on our way. Take a damage boost here, hop over that guy, a damage boost here, So optimally, you want to be making it through this door around 55 seconds. Now clearly we're a little bit behind because of the poppy RNG, but no big deal. This is just the climb here, getting us to the first boss, Wispy Woods. I know, we, we should just reset and start again, right? <laughs> so Wispy's pretty self-explanatory, he's going to drop these apples, we're going to inhale them, spit them back out at him. Sometimes he shoots wisps, it's the name, like that. Can't do anything about it, that's just bad RNG. Just have to wait him out. All right, that's green greens. Next we're gonna have Castle Low Low Low. There's a couple of different strats you can use here. I'm gonna stick with some easy ones, because I don't wanna mess up and look foolish. So basically we're gonna just navigate through the enemies. Oops, it's fine. Get through this door, and we're gonna get to our second big part of RNG here. Now, this part isn't too bad, but it can be a little bit frustrating. Uh, so there's four different levels. If you see here, Lolo is gonna be starting on the top level, and then going to the bottom. Now that's complete RNG, but it can be frustrating Try to keep track of everything, so I like to hover here in the middle just to kinda be ready for whatever comes my way. Right through that door up here, exhale. The game really is a lot of muscle memory and then grinding out that RNG. Up here, take damage, go, and we're there. So you can get double hits like that if they appear right next to each other, row by row. And that went pretty smooth. We got one more left to kill. No big deal. All set. Freeze damage. Oh no. Woof. Oh, Mist was actually the best possible RNG. I'm way ahead. I, it's probably the best low, low, low kill ever done. But unfortunately, we don't have it on video, so y'all just have to believe me. We'll hop down, kill this guy. Boop. I'm 
something back, okay. I was just getting getting ready to be quiet and say, oh, you know what? Enjoy the music. Now, I personally think this is the most execution-heavy stage. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. It's a lot of minuscule time losses, but in a game that's measured like this, every second counts. It's not a whole lot of game to get through. Exhale here, up there. I'm surprised I pulled that off. That's still a very new strat to me. I normally get the curry, but I recently found out that's slightly slower than doing it this way. <laughs> okay, well, if I get a PB on this, I'm gonna be furious. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> With these strats, if I get a PB, uh, I'm gonna be livid. And happy at the same time. How bittersweet. Alright, so we're at the third boss. And this is a sweet little stage here where you're just gonna kinda hover and shoot these puffs of smoke out at him. Or take a little bit of damage to get the star. Just like that. And I actually shaved off 0.5 seconds there, so that's encourageable, I guess. Bubbly Clouds. Now this just has great music, good flavor, and a, a pretty good difficulty level too. It's not as easy as it may look. I mean, never mind. Maybe it's just as difficult as it looks. Pop there. Now for this part, you're just going to hold right, and it's going to look great. It looks like I did something really slick there, but I promise all I did was hold right. Inhale, jump, exhale. Whoops. The voice, the voice. At least you'll get the lovely commentary. We'll call this the the, the Kirby's Dreamland radio show. How Look at it from that perspective. I mean, not whoops. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, this guy's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, you, you can't see at night TV? Oh, that's that's unfortunate, man. Yeah, you missed perfect execution. Oh, I'm back? Okay. Alright, he'll drop one more, baby. We'll exhale and go ahead and hop on this sweet little warp star. It's dreamlike. Just imagine what's happening. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take this second brick. So we can just glide straight here. Skirt, skirt! And not take any damage. And yes, I am behind the uh, that lair. It's a sweet little glitch you can get every once in a while. It doesn't affect the game whatsoever, other than visually. I wish it saved some time, though. For this section, we're just going to walk right on through. Blow, 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 blow. Shoot this hot curry fire. Spit the hot fire. And climb to the top. And now we get the bane of my existence. Cracko. Cracko is the name of the boss here. Cracko can either save you 30 seconds or lose you 30 seconds. There's not a whole lot of in-between with her. Basically, she can do any move or this. And give birth. I need her to give birth six times so we can move on to the next part of the game. And a three. Lightning bolts are no good. Just babies, no lightning bolts. You can see how frustrating this gets in a run when you have no control over it. Execution all the way up to this point can be perfect and your run can still just die. But, we're going to go ahead and move on. Alright, and now to Castle DDD. This is more or less a boss rush. If you've ever played a Mega Man game, you're familiar with them. We're just going to go through little snippets of stages 
and fight the bosses over again, and then we get to the final boss of the whole thing. Which is, of course, King DDD. Castle Lolo Lolo first. And you'll recognize Lolo Lolo and La 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 as characters from their own series, in fact. The Adventures of Lolo Lolo. There we go. And there's a risky strat that I'm going to actually avoid. Just because I don't want to make a fool out of myself in the middle of this. So there's a slightly faster way to do it. It saves maybe a second where you take intentional damage so you can boost through that enemy. I'll show y'all on, on another day. Hey, we finally get a baby. Give me five more, Cracko. Give me five. Give me four more. So basically, if you just jump over when she dashes, stand just off to the side from the center, and she can't touch you. You just gotta be ready for that dash, that's all there is to it. One more, one more. Be a doll, come on. Float Islands replay. Got a nifty little boat in there. I love the flavor. It's a great game for as, as young as it is in Nintendo's game development career. Definitely a classic for the Game Boy. Right, back to Kabul, I believe, is the name of this enemy. I'm not 100% sure. I should know at this point, but I don't. But we're going to do the same strategy as before. I'm going to play it back a little bit to conserve my health. And last, we're going to have Wispy. And if I can finish with 5 HP, we'll go for some riskier strats in Dedede. How about that? Maybe I can show y'all a double hit. It's a pretty new development. I guess it's been around about a year now. We've, well, I say we. They discovered you could do it. I just copied their strats. I'm not an innovator. I'm just a grinder. We get a couple wisps there. Oh, we get a couple more wisps. That's RNG for you, baby. Three apples from Wispy, and we get more wind. Alright, time for D3. Alright, let me see if we can do anything risky and get some payoff from it. Task fit there, and we'll get a double hit, I hope. There we go. That's how that's done. <laughs> and we even took some damage there. So the two moves he can give us... Oh, whoops. Didn't want to do that. The two moves he can give us that we want are the hammer or the jump. Preferably in that order. A hammer and then a jump. So I can go ahead and load up and then get a double hit out of the deal. So we got the hammer. There's the jump. And three, two, one, time. So my timer says 12.31, which I am absolutely pleased with in a marathon setting. And I'll absolutely take that. So that's uh, that's Kirby's Dream Land. Uh, it's a great game. I suggest anybody interested in speedrunning, start with a game like this, preferably this game, because it has such a big following and we have resources that you can use to learn it. And if you think it's a little bit too easy, I encourage you to try it. You may be surprised. And if you still think it's too easy, there's actually Extra Mode, which is the same game, same playthrough, with much faster enemies that deal more damage. But that is the extent of the game that I'm going to be able to show tonight. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm sure everybody knows the game by heart. Or maybe I'm just showing my age. But I'll go ahead and let the credits roll. You enjoy the rest of the marathon, everybody, and I hope y'all hit that goal you're looking for. Thanks for watching and giving me the opportunity to run. Have a good night, y'all.
Identity.